Considerate. Well, who are you? Never mind who I am. You're Dr. Hanson, a scientist, right? Yes, I am. Now you state your business, young man. Come on, we're wasting time. There's something in your lab that I want, right now. You can't talk to me that way. I got a friend right here that does my talking for me. Get moving. Nice lab you got here, old man. Are those the pieces of the rocket that was destroyed in outer space? I'll tell you nothing. I don't care, old man. My job is to get the bacteria you found on those pieces. We know all about the devil germs. Those pieces of metal came from outer space. That's all that was left of the special search rocket that was sent to find out how our space satellites were being destroyed. You found out. Those pieces are plastic. And you found the devil germs on them. We know. Those germs, those bugs eat metal. All right, yes. I found the devil germs, but they all died. Now get out of here and leave me alone. Quit lying, you old fool. We know you're growing them right in this lab, and we want them. Those germs are too dangerous for anyone to handle. Now you listen. My boss wants those bugs, and he knows how to handle them. Now I know just how to handle you. If you don't hand them over quick... Now, are you going to talk, or am I going to have to rough you up, old man? Chet Humphrey here with the Humphrey Brindle Report. Good morning to you. Famous scientist Dr. Hansen was the victim of a brutal attack in his lab last night. Looks like the work of thugs. Police are investigating. Dr. Hansen is too badly hurt to talk to, so we don't know if that thug took anything. Confound it all. I'd like to call an eighth man, but I don't want to yell for help on every case. It looks like a case of simple assault, maybe robbery, but what on earth was stolen? Dr. Hansen was working on top-secret rocket research. He fumble thumbs here. What's that? A prisoner has escaped. How? What do you mean? It's impossible for the steel door and bars to be gone from a prison cell. Do you hear? Impossible. I'll be there right away. I want all guards on duty. It doesn't make any sense at all, Chief. A steel door and bars are gone from the solitary cell. Steel doors and bars don't just disappear into thin air. There must be an explanation that makes a little sense. Chief, finding a logical answer for this will be tough. Those bars and that steel door just vanished without a sound. As if they were, well, evaporated. There's nothing left. It's almost as if that prisoner ate that steel door instead of eating his dinner. Well, it'll take care of it. The escaped prisoner is the meanest and most dangerous man we had. More dangerous than you know. You know him as number 333, but this vicious international spy is really Evil Jaw, the leader of the Black Butterfly Gang. This means that the Black Butterfly Gang is in business again. They've got to be stopped and quick. 
You're right, Warden, and that's my job. I'm sure you'll take double precautions here at the jail. Evil Jaw's a mean one. If anyone can catch that man, you can, Chief. Gee, thanks. Now I must go. Step on it, I've got to get to headquarters. Evil Jaw is back in action. He fumble thumbs here. Are there any reports coming in? Evil Jaw has been spotted in the vicinity of the Bovian Embassy. He mustn't get in there. Surround the embassy. Seal it off completely. He may already be inside. If he is inside, we're in trouble. Shall I order a squad of men to check the embassy and see if he's in there, sir? Absolutely no. The embassy has diplomatic immunity, and if he got in there, we just can't touch him. Evil Jaw, leader of the Black Butterfly Gang, is loose. And strange disasters began happening. At the great seaport, the new ocean liner, Queen of the World, is about to be launched. She receives the usual christening, and she slides down toward the water. A beautiful sight. When suddenly... The ship and train seem to fall apart. Well, it worries me. I'm convinced it's much more than just coincidence. I'll be afraid to ride a train again until this is all cleared up. It says here that all the metal parts seem to just disappear completely and that the investigators didn't even find a single clue. It's more than coincidence that the same thing happened to the steel door and bars when Evil Jaw escaped from his cell. Evil Jaw and his black butterfly gang are responsible for those disasters. You make it so obvious when you explain it. Chief Bumblethumbs is probably as confused as I was. Why don't you call him up? I'll do better than that. I'll go see him. So long. Evil Joy is a killer. Please be careful. I never thought of the connection between the disappearing bars and those accidents, Eighth Man. Evil Joy is responsible. And I'm sure he's the one who attacked Dr. Hansen, too. Then Evil Joy is the key to it all. If he's in the embassy, then I give up. Well, I don't give up. If he's in the Bovian embassy, he's under diplomatic immunity, and I can't officially send you there. That Bovian dictatorship has no immunity from Eighth Man, even if you can't touch them. Well, Eighth Man, I really believe that Evil Joy is in the Bovian embassy building. In that case, there's nothing on earth that could stop me from going in there now. I just can't allow it. Chief, what if you don't know a thing about it? Well, if I don't know, I won't be responsible... That's it, then. Just remember, you gave me no authority to do this particular job. I'll keep my eyes closed this time. But be sure and keep in touch with me. Uh Here it is, the Bovian Embassy. (gasps) Well, I'm in. Now. Uh Uh-oh, someone's coming. My anti-gravity unit made it possible for me to hide against the ceiling. Who's there? Don't be so edgy, Evil Jaw. It's only me, the ambassador. You're perfectly safe here. The police can't enter the embassy. Relax and don't worry. You did a fine job when you got the devil germs from Dr. Hansen. Too bad you didn't finish him. Well, my government will reward you handsomely for your services, I assure you. Please, put that gun away. The devil germs, or iron-eating bacteria, if you like the scientific name, will eliminate all opposition to our world conquest, and you shall have an important post in the new order. You can keep your important post, and you can forget your pretty speeches. Just pay off the million bucks you promised the Black Butterfly Gang. All this talk is just wasting time. Shut up and pay up. You'll get your million dollars in full, Evil Jaw, as soon as all the details are completed, as we agreed, and in cash. I admit your demonstrations on the ship and train were impressive. You know, however, that we still need the plans for growing devil germs before we can take over the world. The plans will be in your possession in a day or two. All I want is the cash right then, and you guys can do what you like. 
You shall have all the money you want if that's all that's important to you. And the Bovian Republic will become the rulers of the world. Any country that doesn't submit to our rule will be fed to the devil jams. <laughs> we will be masters of the earth. Let us drink, Evil Jaw, to success for us both. Money for you and power for us. Conquest. And to diplomatic immunity. The cops can't touch us here in the embassy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to create excitement to draw Evil Jaw out. Off limits, eh? There, that ought to create a riot. You are now, now. Hurry up, get over here. How'd that door get over here? It was here? over when I got here. Oh, well, who did it? I'll make it in. Behind you, someone disguised as me. Look. Oh! She's getting Stop away. Stop quick. She's not Sophia. I'm the real Sophia. Believe me, I am. Who dared to go in the off-limits room? Sophia, sir, or someone disguised as her. I'm the real Sophia, and I wasn't near that room, I tell you. I am Sophia, and while you're holding me, that imposter is loose. She could be right. How can we tell? That'll keep them mixed up for a while, and it brought out the ambassador. Very well. Now is the time to take his place. And now to confront Evil Jaw. Well, man, what was that racket I heard in the hall all about, huh? I don't know yet. It seems a matter of mixed identities. I don't think there will be trouble, but we don't want to take chances. So to be sure, you'd better hide in the security vault for a while. Get in there, and I'll call you when everything returns to normal. I don't go for this, Ambassador. It better not be a trap of some kind. It's no trap. Go on. That gets him out of the way. Now for a quick change to Evil Jaw. If there were two Sophias, then the other one is hiding in the building, right? I don't know, sir. She may have left the building now, for all we know. It's confusing. I'm sure she's still around here. You stand there and tell me that there was someone in the building trying to pass herself off as Sophia, and you lost her? Get moving and search every corner of the building until you find her. Go! The ambassador couldn't understand how anyone could get past all his guards. Little did he know that I was waiting for him in the study disguised as Evil Jaw. Nothing to worry about at all. Just a little excitement out in the corridor, Evil Jaw. I'm too edgy to stay pickled in the vault. All right, you're out here. How about those plans for growing devil germs? Do you have them ready for us? Devil germs. I'll have to play along with them and find out just what they are. I don't carry those plans in my head. They require a lot of detailed drawing, Ambassador. That's it, Evil Jaw. We can quit playing around. Now you're trying to hold us up for more money. Well, hold on there. I don't like to hear that kind of talk. I want you to know that you're dealing with an honest mob. You thieves are only as honest as you have to be to get your hands on cash. My leader will not stand for failure. I want you to finish those plans right here and now. You put me on the spot and you'll be taken out of here on a slab. Now get this clear. I won't get shot on your account. Here are the partial plans you said needed only one detail. Now you get them done and quick. Uh -huh. Another evil jaw with the devil germ gun. Huh? What? All right, talk fast. Which one of you is a phony? I am evil jaw, of course. He is not. I tell you, he's an imposter. One of you is a spy. Which one is beyond me? There's only one evil draw here. And that's me, you rotten spy. Either I find out quick or I kill the two of you. I tell you, that guy is not the real evil draw. Only the real evil draw would have the devil germ gun. Isn't that proof enough? Right. Step aside, evil draw. Where did he go? Eighth man, we gotta kill him. It's eighth man, you miserable bum. And this time I'm going to put you in prison for keeps. That's what you think, hero. With this gun in my hands, I win. Go ahead, Evil Jaw. You know bullets don't bother Eighth Man. You're due for a shock. There. All right, I caught those. Ready to give up? Think again, Eighth Man. Look in your hand. What for? Oh. <laughs> those are devil germs. You're finished. <laughs> That's your more. That'll take care of your other arm. Why would the devil germs work on him? He's all metal. 
a super robot, and the devil germs will have a feast on his body. He's escaping. Let him go. It's impossible to catch him anyway. He'll probably just fall apart. If he doesn't, we've still got the devil germs. That's the finish of Eighth Man. He's doomed. is being eaten away. I've got to find help. Dr. Hansen, I'm glad you're awake at last. Uh, can you answer a few questions? Did you find my bacteria? What bacteria? The bacteria I gathered from space that was destroying our metal satellites. That's what the gangster was after. He called them devil germs. I had learned how to make them grow. They are devilish. They eat metal. They can cause worldwide disaster. They must be found. I see. So that's the cause of our trouble. The devil germs in the hands of an enemy would be a terrible weapon. They must be found. You mean to tell me that these devil germs will eat absolutely anything made of metal, even the hardest steel made by man? Yes, Chief. They'll eat any metal at all. Oh, no. What can I do? Even Eighth Man could be eaten up. At a laboratory far from town, in the home of Professor Genius... Good thing you threw your arm away, or you'd have been disintegrated before you got here. Now you're better than you. I've given you a plastic shield the devil germs can't penetrate. That evil Joe will get the surprise of his life the next time you meet. Thanks, Professor Genius. That's the closest call I've ever had in my whole life. I'm lucky you were here in the lab. I'll always be here when you need me, Eighth Man. With Evil Jaw working with the Bovian Union's ambassador, we have real trouble. We can't go into the embassy. Can you get in one more time? Unofficially, of course. Of course. They threaten freedom-loving people everywhere. I'm glad you said that. The Black Butterfly Gang, figuring they're safe in the embassy, will be planning something much bigger than a ship or train disaster. They'll strike some big government installation. I'm glad to have another chance. I'll stop them. I'll have to disguise myself as Sophia again, but she must be out of the embassy for a while. Here's how it will work. That is amazing. Now remember, I'm not officially involved. Now don't get fresh with me, Mr. Chief. Ah, you're a real girl now. That afternoon, the real Sophia took a walk. Miss Wait, isn't your name Sophia? Yes. Hmm? I'm Chief Fumblethumbs. Your life is in danger. You must come with me. In danger? Yes, it's a serious affair. I plead with you, mister, have faith in me and come along, at least until we clear the matter up. You're lying. There's nothing to clear up. You're coming with me anyway. With Sophia in custody, I took her place. Aha, there's the embassy. I don't know. Maybe eight man is still alive. We'll have to take precautions against that guy. You can bet on it that he'll try to get back in here again if he isn't dead. I am really confused. I have never seen anything like it. I don't even know if you are or are not really Evil Jaw at this very moment. For that matter, you may not be the real ambassador. We must do something about it. I have an idea. My plan will work if Eighth Man is in the embassy, but we must keep it a secret from everyone. What's that, my friend? Now, here's my plan. First, we'll... Attention all employees. There is a meeting in the auditorium immediately. Attention. Meeting immediately in auditorium. All employees report. Your attention, please. Fine, they're all there. Release the devil germs. If eight man is back, this will finish them. They don't know about the plastic shield that protects me from the devil germs. I let them think I'm dead. Now we count them and see. <laughs> 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Well, there's one missing. This was left behind. <coughs> That's Sophia's dress. <coughs> Eighth man was Sophia again. Then our trap worked perfectly. 
The devil germs must have destroyed him. <laughs> What's left of Eighth Man went out that exhaust fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, Evil Jaw, with Eighth Man out of the way, we can get moving on our big project. The devil germ guns are ready, and we're going to put this country's biggest blast furnace out of action. They will then be powerless to resist us. Wonderful. This country will be ruined, and Bovia will take over. Our leader will love you. Watch me ditch those cops behind us. You're under arrest, Evil Jaw. Drop those guns on the ground. You'll never take us, Rumble Bums. We'll wipe you out. You're surrounded, killer, so throw down those guns. Watch, wise guy. He has a devil germ gun. Stop them! Stop them! Ha-ha-ha. In just another minute, it'll all be rubble. Evil Jaw. Eighth Man. I've been waiting for you. We won't miss you this time, Eighth Man. You won the first round, punk, and that's the only round you're ever going to win. Okay, boys. Let them have it. What's the matter, Evil Jaw? Can't you hit a moving target? Now I have devil germs all over me. Touch me, and they'll eat you up in one second. Okay, then. I'll take care of the rest of your gang first. I can still take care of you with the germs. Now, fall apart, robot. Go ahead and shoot, Evil Jaw. You're finished. I have a special plastic skin covering that kills those devil germs on contact. Now what, you dirty spy? You'll see... There's nothing you can do now, Evil Jaw. Your time's run out. Give up, you fool. What do you think you can do up there? I'll show you. You can't escape this molten steel. What's the matter with this confounded gun? The heat of the blast furnace is killing your devil germs. Give up. I'll never give up alive, you hear? Hey... The devil germs are eating up the power. Ah! Even I can't save him. He was killed by his own crimes.